Hi, this is Lance from Langchain. This is the 11th part of our Rag from Scratch video series focused on query construction. So we previously talked through uh, query translation, which is the process of taking a question and converting it or translating it into a question that's better optimized for retrieval. Then we talked about routing, which is the process of going, taking that question and routing it to the right source, be it a given vector store, GraphDB, um, or SQL DB, for example. Now we're going to talk about the process of query construction, which is basically taking natural language and converting it into particular domain specific language uh, for one of these sources. Now we're going to talk specifically about the process of going from natural language to uh, metadata filters for vector stores. Um, the problem statement is basically this. Let's imagine we had an index of Langchain video transcripts. Um, you might want to ask a question. Give me, you know, or find find me videos on Chat Langchain published after 2024, for example. Um, the the process of query structuring basically converts this natural language question into a structured query that can be applied to the metadata uh, filters on your vector store. So most vector stores will have some kind of metadata filters that can do kind of structured querying on top of uh, the chunks that are indexed. Um, so, for example, this type of query will retrieve all chunks uh, that talk about the topic of chat Langchain uh, published after the date 2024. That's kind of the problem statement. And to do this, we're going to use function calling. Um, in this case, you can use, for example, OpenAI or other providers to do that. And what we're going to do is, at a high level, take the metadata fields that are present in our vector store and provide them to the model as kind of information. And the model then can take those and produce queries that adhere to the schema provided. Um, and then we can parse those out to a structured object, like a pedantic object, which again, which can then be used in search. So that's kind of the problem statement. And let's actually walk through code. <clears throat> um, so here's our notebook, which we've kind of gone through previously. And I'll just show you as an example. Let's take an example YouTube video and let's look at the metadata that you get with the transcript. So you can see you get stuff like description, uh, URL, um, yeah, publish date, length, things like that. Now let's say we had an index that had um, basically a, had a number of different metadata fields and filters uh, that allowed us to do range filtering on like view count, publication date, the video length, um, or unstructured search on contents and title. So those are kind of like the, imagine we had an index that had uh, those kind of filters available to us. What we can do is capture that information about the available filters in an object. So we're calling that this tutorial search object kind of encapsulates that information about the available searches that we can do. And so we basically enumerate it here. Content search and title search are semantic searches that can be done over those fields. Um, and then these filters then are various types of structured searches we can do on like the length, um, the view count, and so forth. And so we can just kind of build that object. Now we can set this up really easily with a basic simple prompt that says, you know, you're an expert can bring natural language into database queries. You have access to the database tutorial videos. Um, given a question, return a database query optimized for retrieval. So that's kind of it. Now here's the key point though. When you call this LLM with structured output, you're binding this pedantic object, which contains all the information about our index to the LLM, which is exactly what we talked about previously. It's really this process right here. You're taking this object, you're converting it to a function schema, for example, OpenAI, you're binding that to your model, and then you're gonna be able to get um, a structured object out versus a JSON string from a natural language question, which can then be parsed into a pedantic object, which you get out. So that's really the flow. And it's taking advantage of function calling, as we said. So if we go back down, we set up our query analyzer chain right here. Now let's try to run that just on a, on a purely semantic input. So rag from scratch, let's run that. And you can see this just does like a content search and a title search. That's exactly what we would expect. Now, if we pass a question that includes like a date filter, let's just see if that would work. And there we go. So you kind of still get that semantic search, um, but you also get um, search over, for example, published date, earliest and latest published date, kind of as, as you would expect. Let's try another one here. 
So videos focus on the topic of chat lang chain. They're published before 2024. This is just kind of a rewrite of this question in a slightly different way, using a different date filter. And again, you can see we can get we get content search, title search, and then we can get kind of a date search. So this is a very general strategy that can be applied kind of broadly to um, different kinds of querying you want to do. It's really the process of going from an unstructured input to a structured query object out following an arbitrary schema that you provide. And so as noted, really this whole thing we created here, this tutorial search is based upon the specifics of our vector store of interest. And if you wanna learn more about this, I linked to some documentation here that talks a lot about different uh, types of uh, integrations we have with different vector store providers to do exactly this. So it's a very useful trick. Um, it allows you to do kind of query uh, uh, say metadata filter filtering on the fly from a natural language question. It's a very convenient trick uh, that works with many different vector DBs. So I encourage you to play with it. Thanks.